What's going on, YouTube? I'm back on the wiring, y'all. Um, in the last video, I added a wire to the red one and a wire to the blue uh, PCM connector to control the fans. Um, I had a computer to control my electric fans. Um, I removed the O2 sensor to show y'all the, the, the grounding points and all that stuff that's on the um, harness from the factory. Um, since then, I went and labeled each of these wires on the um, C2 connector. I labeled it on this side, and I labeled it on this side. It could have been in the middle. So, yeah, I labeled it like that just to, you know, like I said, if I, in case I run into any problems later on down the road, I know where to go back and look and, and, and try to re repair my problem from there. Um, I... Went to the wires on the passenger side head, I mean, for the passenger side injectors and coil, and followed those up to the C2 connector. And those are the injectors, uh, 2, 4, 6, and 8, along with uh, this wire here, I believe it is. Yep, coils 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, all five of these wires here will be getting spliced together and running through a uh, fuse on the fuse block but uh i me being me i just want to know what each of the wires are so like i say i traced them up from the injectors all the way up here and labeled them individually um like i said in case i run into any problems later on down the road man i know where to go which wire to to, to pull out and look at so that's why i did that um the injectors, the truck injectors are um, EV1 injectors. That's how they look. The pigtails for the injectors, I mean. This is how the um, injector connector look. And I picked up, a, picked up a few of these. These are the EV6 uh, connectors. Go to the injectors on the LS1 intake. And the uh, ejectors are different truck to car. So I picked up a few of these. Actually, I picked up two sets. I got a set for me, and I just got an extra set. Um, those came out of, a, I want to say, a Camaro, um, Cadillacs. A lot, a lot of the, the uh, newer model cars use the same type of injectors. So I got a set. I got an extra set. Anybody need them, can hit me up. I'll send them to you. I'm always willing to help the next man out. Also... If you do not like the uh, get used stuff, I know a lot of people don't. Um, you can buy them new. These are the uh, EV6 injector pigtails. It's from uh, Racetronics website. Pretty much the same thing as uh, what I got is just you know new, longer wire, which you won't need that much wire. But yeah, like I said, they sell them new on uh, Racetronics website or um, Casper Electronics. Uh, the uh, fuel injector splice. I'll be putting all these uh, links down in the description, so you know you can just go down there, click the link, take you to the page if you want to buy them. Hey, about nine bucks on here, or you can buy them. Uh, you can buy these injector adapters, where you plug the truck pigtail into one side, and you plug the other side into the car injector. You know. Those are seven ninety five on her on a Casper Electronics website, but I found them on a Summit site for seven seventy five. Same thing. You don't want to do any wiring, uh, and it makes an easy fix. Or you don't have to do any soldering, you know, alter another uh, the harness. You can also buy uh, this little connector kit if you. I mean, you do this, you might as well splice them. But they just sell the um, the connectors and the, the pins and all that stuff. You cut your wires and repin them, and you know, do them like that. But like I said, that's the same thing as as getting a new uh, pigtail, basically. But yeah, um, like I say I put those down in the description, the links, so you can just follow those. Okay, I got a. Uh, Inject the wire one and three here. Three, that's one. And I got a, uh, this for the driver's side. On these, I only labeled 
All right, I'm about to uh, cut these wires and get them bundled for the injectors and the cars for the driver and passenger side. This is the driver side here. Um, injectors one and three. Number three. It's one. And I just like with these uh, 5D, 7D. There's uh, one, three, five, and seven on the injectors. And this here is the injector cars for one, three, five, and seven. All these go on the driver side. So I'm about to cut these here and get those all bundled together and, and put to the side. those um, do the same thing with the 246 and 8 injectors and the uh, cars I got those all cut and bundled together like I say all of those uh, four injector wires and the car wires uh, we'll be going through one fuse together here I got a uh, injector 6 and injector 8 and I got injector 2 number 4 and I have a uh, 246 and 8 cars so I'll be cutting these, six and eight, two and four, one to the side, and here is the cause wire. For the passenger side, cut that baby. I got those uh, cut and bundled together over there. Uh, passenger side, cause and injector. So, like I said, those two will be going through their own uh, 15 amp fuse. This one here, these two orange wires on the C2 connector, only two orange wires on here. These get cut also. Well, everything's get cut, but these lead to. Um, the 20 pin and number 57 pin on the blue connector. These hot all the time. Power to the uh, PCM. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those. Coming back in, y'all. I got those uh, orange wires for the hot all the time uh, cutting out the way. Um, these two wires will go through a, a 10 amp fuse. I don't know how good you guys can see that. Uh, B20 and B57 right there orange orange goes up to a 10 amp view I'll be uh, posting links to where you can find these diagrams online as well um, so those will be down in the description For this one and uh, this one here diagram showing how everything needs to be wired for the fuse block and uh, relays so look down in the description for those um you got any questions feel free to ask uh i'm not a pro but you know i figured out some things uh, by searching online on a uh, lt1 swap and ls1 tech uh, you know so i know a few things and you know maybe i'll run into the same problem i had i can coach you through it but uh yeah, I'm really just making these for myself. I know some other people can use them. That's why I'm going ahead and posting them on YouTube. So, yeah, just stay tuned for the next video.